Hey y'all, it's Savvy That Simmer, cozy up, and welcome to the first part of the Growing Together series. So I wasn't sure on how to start this video because there's so much to go over, but I first wanted to initially start off with a special thanks to one of my subscribers. She's one of my OG subscribers. I appreciate her so much. Her name is Annalise and here's her channel. Annalise was one of my first subscribers on my channel, so I just wanted to give her a special thank you for that too. But Annalise actually helped me create Valentina's family um, for this series and it's really cool. Yeah, and I just think it's so special to have Simmers collaborate together, like Annalise and I, to actually make, um, you know, the series kind of together. I just think that's so special. So even though it's not like a safe hour making together, but, you know, we kind of created these people together. I just love that, and it's so cool. So anyways, if any of you guys would like to add your own Sims that you guys have created into the series, it can be townies, it can be new friends for um, Valentina and her family members, or it can just be, you know, maybe a love interest for her we're not quite sure yet because remember she is a single mom she just had a big breakup so um all you have to do is create the sim and make sure you do this within the next week or two please so i can add them into the gameplay um but go ahead and create the sim and then add them to the gallery but use the hashtag in the bio show savvy that simmer i would love to add some of your sims in my game we will go over the family that she created and everything um, in regards to them and we'll learn more about them in a little bit. So anyways, for growing together, I really wanted to start off with a strong family dynamic. It's really important to me to represent all different kinds of cultures on my channel um, and make sure that everyone's included. So let's go into a little bit about Valentina. So Valentina is our growing together gal. She is going to be the founder of this legacy. Now, I don't know if we'll end up doing a whole series and we'll continue doing like a legacy, but we'll see. Maybe we might, but regardless, we'll get into more of the details of her family in a little bit. So a little bit about Valentina. She is a black and Puerto Rican woman. She's beautiful and I love her so much. Um, she is a middle school teacher um, and these are her traits. So Val's traits are romantic. She's a vegetarian. I'll probably end up changing that. I think I actually was supposed to have that as like a bookworm or something else, but it's okay, we'll end up changing that later. So, and then maybe you guys could help me decide. Yeah, drop some comments down below and let me know throughout the episode after watching her in this episode and let me know what you think you think her other trait would be. So let's just, you know, ignore that one for now. So we have romantic, we have family oriented. She's happy to have a child that is with the Who Wellness mod and then she's domestic. So um, she does have a few milestones too already. Um, she has had her first woohoo obviously with her ex-fiance at this point. So she's ready to have a baby. Um, clearly she's pregnant, we know that. And she was engaged. It should show up here eventually though that so her and Logan were engaged. It should show here that they um, have broken up. Maybe it just needs time to show up. And also too, she fell in love with Logan and then it says um, our wedding bells in the distance. Um, they're in the really far, far distance right now. <laughs> um, and then also a few things about her. Um, she loves all type of music. She loves island music, Latin music, and a few others you guys can check and see if you want to pause the video. Um, her hobbies include knitting, cross-stitching, cooking, baking, painting, gardening. Valentina is very domestic. She's all about homemaking and just really having a lot of hobbies where she can work with her hands. She's very creative. Ooh, maybe that could be the trait that we give her. Conversation topic, she loves, um, she likes physical intimacy, flirtation, stories, jokes, small talk, discussing hobbies, discussing interests, and gossip. She doesn't like malicious interactions or potty humor. So I feel like she's kind of proper too, maybe. Idealist Sims, romantic enthusiast, family motivated Sims. So she loves family. She's very, very family oriented, clearly. Um, and I'm not gonna go over her fashion. And then she likes boho decor, farmhouse decor, island, modern decor, and mid-century decor. So she's all about family and yeah, so that's the gist of her traits and stuff right now. We're definitely gonna be able to get to know her personality a little bit more later on. And her skills, um, I need to finagle her skills. So we'll probably get back to that later on, probably episode two. Is to have a successful lineage. She wants to read to a child for two hours, become a parent, socialize with her child for 10, 10 times. So if you guys have ever played with this, there are four different levels of it. So I would really like to complete that throughout her lifetime. So we will see if we do that. Also too, Val is a teacher. She's actually a middle school teacher. So if you see that it says substitute teacher here, just ignore that. She is a 
middle school teacher. Also, make sure to watch the video before this one, which was the introduction to the Growing Together series. It's just a small, quick four minute video. I did kind of a machinima, that's what we call it. It's basically a nice little video um, going over her life right before we are here in the first part of the Growing Together series. So I did rename the first video, um, the introduction, and this one will be actually the Growing Together part one. So make sure you check that out. We'll be focusing on the Growing Together pack in her journey as a single mother. I do want to sprinkle a little bit of drama in here. So I actually did a poll on my channel. Make sure you guys look at my community tab. I post often. I post almost daily sometimes if I feel like I'm in the mood. So you guys voted and you guys, I think it was like over 70%. I'll go ahead and pop a little thing on the screen so you guys can see it. So yeah, um, we'll, we'll probably sprinkle some drama in there yet. I'm not sure um, yet quite yet what the drama will be. But if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to comment them down below. I am all about hearing what you guys think and if you guys have any suggestions. So, but yeah, I, I figured that we'll make this series wholesome. And you know, like I said, add a little bit of drama here and there but let me know what you guys think. So Valentina is an island girl. She's originally from Sulani with her family, um, but her brother actually was stationed in San Sequoia and he has this gorgeous big home as you guys can see, but they actually have their mother living with them in this big old home and now obviously Val is living with them too. So I would say that it's crowded, but I mean, it's a big family home with a big family. Um, I don't know how much more room we can have. We might have to add another room on or maybe eventually get Val a new home. But if you guys did watch the intro, which like I said, I highly suggest that you do. Um, Val was living with Logan in um, our eco living. It was it eco lifestyle or eco living. I can't remember at this point, you guys. But anyways, um, Evergreen Harbor is where she was living in an apartment. Um, with her ex-fiance now, Logan. And before I forget to, this is Logan. Blech. This is her ex-fiance who decided to ditch her um, and literally take everything when he found out that she was pregnant. It's really, really sad. And you know what? I decided to give him a super crappy background for his little introduction because he sucks that much. I wanted to show you guys really quick all about Logan. Logan is a dance machine. He is non-committal. He apparent so he was actually loyal, but then when he broke up with Val, it changed to non-committal. It popped up and asked me if I wanted to change it to that. And honestly, I thought that made more sense. So he's non-committal now and he's clumsy, alluring, and he does not want a child right now. So and he's also romantic too. So yeah, he's a little bit of contradictory. He found out that she was pregnant and he has um, a really big family too and a family that means a lot to him and that is also very hard on him. So when he found out that she was pregnant, he just freaked out. So it's really sad um, what he did to her and it's so, so sad. But I think deep down, she obviously still loves him. Um, there's some, you know, still love for him, but in a way that I don't think she'll end up back with him. Um, so we'll just have to see where this series takes us. But I highly, highly doubt that they will get back together. So we'll just have to see. Val's family is really big. So let me go ahead and show you her family. So her mother is Gabriella. Their dad is not in here right now. I do need to add that in, but he actually passed away. So that's why he's not showing up in the family tree. And then Val's family is Pedro. So we have Pedro and then we have Valentina. And so Gabriella is the mother of Valentina. And then we have Pedro. And then Pedro has a wife and her name is Mariana. So Mariana is married to Pedro. So again, this is Val's brother, Pedro, and we have Mariana and they have Kari and they also have Camilla. So they do call her Cam and Kari. So they're both sisters. So I will go ahead and show you all of their traits and all their information about them really quick. So this is Gabriela Gonzalez. So this would be basically the matriarch of the family. So she's a vegetarian. She's family oriented domestic. She's an animal enthusiast. She loves animals. She's neat and she's also a caretaker. So here he is. He's so cute. I think he's so handsome. And again, my subscriber made him. He's family oriented. He's active domestic. He's a bro and he would happy. He'd be happy to have a child. 
He's a jester and a caregiver as well. And he's in the military. So he is a private fourth class. So that, again, that is why they're here in San Sequoia. So, so this is Mariana. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. I really love her a lot. And she has this really cool birthmark on her neck and it goes up to her face. I just love her. I think that Annalise did such a good job on her. And I did tweak her a little bit to my, you know, I added some CC on her and stuff. But yeah, I think she looks awesome. She's so gorgeous to me. Um, so let's go over her traits. So she's also family oriented. She's a child of the islands. So once again, they are from Sulani. She loves the outdoors. She's jealous. <laughs> she would be happy to have a child. She's domestic, a lover, a caregiver. And she currently has a um, fear of being cheated on right now. So that's pretty sad. But she's also a mailroom technician. She recently got a job after her two children aged up. So Camilla Gonzalez is a teen daughter of Pedro and Mariana. And she's currently having a breakout, as you guys can see, which I do feel bad for her because that obviously sucks being a teenager and, you know, breaking out. <laughs> she's a vegetarian as well. She's a child of the ocean. She has a home turf and every man, and she's also scared of a fire and she's scared of doing her homework for some reason. And last but not least, this is Kari. I think she's so cute. I really love her braids. I love this hair on her. She is super spoiled, by the way. She has a humongous bedroom and a full-size bed, <laughs> and she's only a child. So a little bit about Kari. She is active and she also is a neutral confident, so she's still learning her confidence. So those are her traits currently and her aspiration is mind and body and the aspiration for Pedro is a super parent and also a big happy family as well for Mariana and I almost forgot too and Cam's aspiration is a beach life. So now that we finally got through some of her family members there's still some more that we need to go over but let's go ahead and do a house tour. So out here we have this really cute backyard and clearly we need to clean up a little bit. This family also cooks a lot. They're from the islands and they have the best food. And this family, let me tell you, they can cook. So over here we have this really cute swing set over here. We do have some bikes and we have a like little she shed. It's so cute to me. So in the little she shed, <laughs> we have Pedro's workout machine. So like I said, he's in the military career. So he has to like work out pretty often. There's like a little um, woodworking area right there. So yeah, it's just a little small she shed. So this is an overview of the first level. So over here, we have this nice little like sunroom area with extra stuff to do. So when you first walk into the home, we have this, so we have this big foyer area. And then if we go through here, we have this nice big piano. And then we have, so downstairs is very open space, open floor plan, which I love. So we have this humongous living room in here. I love it. It's so cute. And then over here, we have this nice little kitchen table area. Sorry, it's so messy, but this family is huge and they always have stuff going on. And I love this kitchen. It's just so homey to me and so cozy. And I like this too. Um, so it does divide the living room and the kitchen actually with like this area over here. And then over here is like our little game area for like the kiddos to play. And then we have like this little card table too for the adults to play as well. And then over here we do have Pedro and Mariana's bedroom, which again is so cozy. And then over here we do have the office or the study, whatever you guys want to call it. And this is actually um, Val's little cot. She's been sleeping on this because um, there's not enough room for her to have her own room. So I think we might end up just taking some of this stuff out and putting it in like the main living room area to make one small room for her. But yeah, this is her cot and this is where she has been sleeping. And then if we go upstairs, um, this house is huge if you guys haven't noticed. Over here we have a upstairs loft area with a nice couch and just more of a play area for the family as you guys can see. Look at this family y'all, they are a hot mess. He's going to work, she's gotta go to the bathroom. They're ruining my intro. <laughs> this is Gabriella's bedroom, which is so cute. I love the vibes in here. I actually furnished this myself. Oh my God, I just love her room, it's so cute. And then there is a Jack and Jill bathroom through here where she can share over here. And then um, Kari's room's over here. As you guys can see, she has a humongous bed over here. Like, you know, if this girl doesn't look spoiled, I don't know what is. <laughs> So she's got a bunch of toys in here going on. She's got a bunch of stuff to do, which I love for her. And last but not least, this is Cam's room. Her name is Camilla, but I'm just gonna call her Cam for short. I like nicknames. <laughs> 
but this is her bedroom here so she has a nice big bedroom and she loves the color pink it's really cute for her she also likes science as you guys can see she has a bunch of like outer space stuff and she likes experimenting too she's very smart so yeah this is their home as you guys can see it is huge um it's a really big home but i love it so much i think it fits them so well i forgot and to mention too but gabriella is retired she's no longer working and i don't know if you guys noticed but she is a little bit older she's not um quite an elder yet um she's considered an elder but she did have her kids a little bit later in life val is a young adult and pedro is a little bit older than her but he's still considered a young adult anyway so gabriella is retired she um loves gardening and she likes flower arranging too so she actually does that on the side as well so gabriella did all of that when they lived in sulani but um she so this family is always going to be a multi-generational family that lives together they just have always been very tight-knit so when pedro got stationed in san sequoia he automatically knew that his mom was going to be living with him so yeah they just decided to make a whole room for her and have her you know in this cozy little space and they want to make sure she was comfortable she looks after the kids a lot and she um takes care of household things she loves to cook for the family so yeah this is just a giant big family that loves taking care of each other and I just want to show you guys look at these cute little dentures i just love these dentures that is the fam bam and I just want to give you guys a little bit of an introduction to them because obviously that's really important and like I said we'll get into the extended family as well later on but let me just give you a brief overview of them really quick okay and so this over here is Mariana and I introduced you guys to her and this is her brother Diego so we have Mariana and her brother is Diego and then over here we have Emiliano so Emiliano is the father of Diego and Mariana and over here we have um Diego's wife and her name is Isabella do not get her confused with Gabriella I know it might get a little confusing <laughs> they are the extended family of Val so essentially her brother's wife's family so it is her extended family oh wait I totally forgot oh my god you guys so this is Mateus <laughs> um Mateus is currently not here on the lot but this is Mateus this is um Isabella and Diego's son it says that she woke up with morning sickness it says Valentina woke up violently ill as if something was pushing inside all around oh no and then it says she has a sore back as well so this does come from her sleeping on the cot but hopefully eventually we'll figure out what to do with that office and she can have like an actual proper space i think it's so cute how gabriella is in here just keeping her son pedro company you know while he works on some things for the military he's so official with his job so i'm sure you guys noticed a lot of the family members are um island related because like i said annalise when she made them she made them puerto rican and she is puerto rican herself a lot of them have the island trait so she's a child of the islands and then also cam is a child of the ocean so we'll probably make a trip at some point to visit sulani um and visit some more family members because you know these people are all about their family and you know experiencing the islands together is really important to them so yeah we'll probably do that eventually i do want to focus on val um for this episode obviously we had to get a lot of stuff out of the way but now that we finally have gotten all that out i just want to show her off a little bit i think she's so cute i love this outfit so much cute and she looks so cute with her little baby bump so she is in her first trimester i think she's in her second one soon okay so she is in her first trimester i had to look I I needed to know <laughs> so val has only been here for probably a week or two um her belly really popped out like within the last ooh, <laughs> within the last week or two but yes so she's only been here for about a week now family game night is very important to them um they love playing their games they love playing puzzles it's really really important to them look at val she's so cute she's like hmm am i gonna win this game tuesday at 3 a.m do not notice that you guys don't pay attention i had to skip a little bit through the ep to get things set up so oh gosh that's so cute you guys look at kari she's watching she's like i can't wait to play with adults one day in my mind this is probably like poker or something but i mean it's probably not i do feel really bad that she's got to sleep on this cot but you know they don't really have any room right now there's not an air mattress that i know of in the game let me know if you guys know if there is an air mattress because i will definitely 
see if that's something that we can put in the game for her because she's just, you know, she's struggling a little bit. She's not feeling so good on this like little tiny cot in this office. But you know what? But her family has been there for her and that's all that matters. It is eight o'clock in the morning and Gabrielle is going to do what she does best and that is cooking for her family. So she's going to cook a yummy breakfast for them. Then they're going to eat their yummy breakfast and then Val is going to head to her appointment with her mom, Gabriella. So it is ultrasound day and they're super excited. Excited for you guys. Can I come too? And I think, um... I'm pretty sure that Val just wants to go with her mom. You know, she's like, just wants to have that bonding moment with her mom since obviously her fiance is not going with her. And let me show you guys a little bit of tea. Um, <laughs> Gabby hates Logan. Let me show you guys. Um, also, she thinks he's very unattractive. That is a mod, but um, she despises him. She hates Logan. She cannot stand him. Oh no, I, oh gosh, you guys, I made her... I cooked the wrong thing. Oh, no. Uh, oh, look, you guys. She was thinking about the islands. Yeah, we'll definitely make sure to take a visit. I think maybe in the wintertime when it's really cold, they'll probably make a trip out to Sulani. Just to let you guys know, she has not been back to work yet ever since she had her breakup. So obviously, it's been about a week. So, she so Val is going to go ahead and take another vacation day. She really needs to. She is going to go ahead and eat these pancakes that her mom made for her. Oh. Val's like, oh, did Paige already leave for work? And um, Gabby's like, yeah, he already did. And, you know, we'll let him know how the appointment goes when we get back. Oh, no, she's getting sick, you guys. Oh, no, what does it say? Let's read it. Morning sickness. Oh, no, she's having morning sickness again. Okay, so she's apparently craving rich foods. Valentina is dreaming of greasy pizza and cheese loaded mashed potatoes. Yeah, mom, I can't wait to find out what the baby's gonna be. Do you want to know what it's gonna be? Or do you want to wait to find out? So, what do you think? What should we do? Gabby's like, um, let's just decide when we get there. Let's see how we're feeling. What do you think? Let's go ahead and get dressed. We need to go. Oh, no. Look, how can Valentina move on when she still has to see the Sim who broke up with her and broke her heart? Oh, my God, you guys. You know what I just thought about? Oh, no. I just thought about the fact that Val's ex-fiance probably works here. I didn't even think about that. Is he here? Because that would make... That would be like the only reason why she would have that. Oh shoot, you guys, I just found him. Oh gosh, look, he's an OB, I swear. He is not gonna be performing anything on her. The only thing I wanna perform on him is a punch. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab this hot sage green tea for her. It's only $7. And yeah, that way she can just, you know, take a few minutes to relax while she waits to be called for her appointment. And we're gonna sip her tea literally while we think about the tea that just happened. Um, <laughs> I feel so bad for her. I had no idea that her ex-fiance literally works here. Oh, I feel so, so bad for her. Should we find out? I really, I don't know. But if we do find out, then would you like to find out the gender of your baby during this ultrasound? sound scan my thing is if we know what the baby is then we can like decorate for it that kind of thing and she could be really excited or we could keep it a surprise but let's just say yes please let's do it let's do it i'm excited this is maggie richardson this is gonna be val's doctor and she's gonna be giving the ultrasound for her oh this is so cute you guys okay finally mom is here i love this interaction so much it's so so sweet Look at Val. She's so excited, you guys. Look at her. She's so happy. I wonder what it is. Okay, let's read what it says, you guys. Congratulations, you're pregnant. Based on the ultrasound scan, it looks like you're expecting one healthy baby. Everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything stays on track. This is an exciting time and we are here to support you every step of the way. The ultrasound scan shows that you're having a baby boy. Oh, that's so sweet. She's having a baby boy. Well, you know what? She is going to raise her baby boy to be a to be an outstanding man and to not be a turd like their dad. <laughs> She's going to have such a great experience. I'm so excited for her. I just can't get over how excited Gabby looks for her. She's like, yay, I'm going to be a grandma. I'm so excited. She looks so cute though over here. Just hanging out. Well, she did look cute. Now she looks a little sus. She's gonna wait for her mom to come out and they're gonna go probably grab some dinner together. But I did want to show you guys this cute little moodlet. It says from her ultrasound scan, it says Valentina can sometimes feel her baby kicking around in her belly, but it's another thing to finally see them on the screen. 
Valentina is filled with joy at the sight of her baby and is feeling a sense of amazement and awe at the miracle of life. She can hardly wait to meet her child. I just think that's so sweet. Dal and Gabby are towards the back of the restaurant. They're just sitting here looking at their menus. I'm so excited for the baby. I can't believe it. And Val's like, I know. I can't believe the baby is a boy, mom. I can't believe that. Can you? Oh my god, their food is here. I'm shocked right now. Their food is here on time. Okay, come on, Gabby. Come get your food. Okay, good. And they actually gave the food correctly to them. That's so good. You know, thinking back on my design choice for um, Val's outfit here, I think we might need to do a little bit of a like pregnancy maternity revamp for her outfits because that just does not look comfortable on a pregnant belly. We'll just ignore that. <laughs> Gabby's like, you know what? We need to figure out what to do with the study room. Why don't we just make it into your room? Valentina's like, are you sure? I'm not, I don't want to take up all the space. You know, I don't want to do that. I know that's actually a study room and everything. You and the baby can stay in there until you get your own place. Oh my god, your new place would be so cute. I can't wait to help you pick one out one day. It's going to be so awesome. So it is the next morning and Pedro is currently working out, doing his thing. He is in the military career, like I said before. So, and he is currently dazed because Pedro is starting to feel woozy from his mental load. Maybe he should take a break or exercise some creative skills before it gets worse. Does that mean like exercising in general or just exercising being creative? I would love to know. So let's make sure that we're actually cooking. Oh wait, there's pancakes already. I wonder who made the pancakes. Let's see. Um, there are five. Okay, Gabriella actually made them already. Wow, she is so efficient. Oh my goodness. Looks like Mariana was getting some work done. She's going to grab some pancakes too. We need to run this. This is such a cute little vacuum. So let's start the cleaning routine for that vacuum. Can somebody tell me why this vacuum is outside? <laughs> you guys, Mariana could lose her job. Okay, we'll just say, I mean, we don't want her to lose her job, so yeah. Oh no, she's so sleepy. She's so tired. She does so much for this household. So I'm gonna wake her up. Gabby is gonna wake up. Why is there such a mess everywhere? I'm so confused. Is that part of the floor or is it a mess? Oh, clean up. Hang on. I'm sorry, Gabby. I know. You are you do so much around here. Okay. I guess she doesn't want to do that. Did she? Oh, she peed herself. I don't know how she peed herself. I mean, they literally have one, two, three, four bathrooms. There's like no excuse. No excuse. Just uncomfortable. She's still experiencing morning sickness. I feel so bad for her. I really do. Like she's just, you know, not having the best experience in her first trimester, but that's okay. I'm sure it will get better later on as the time goes on. Hold on a second. What is, where is this pot from? Is this from Growing Together? I have not, excuse me, I have not seen that yet. That is adorable. I'm glad that someone else is doing some cleaning around here besides Gabby, because Grandma Gabby is always doing stuff for everyone around here. So thank you for cleaning up, Val, even though you are cleaning in the bathroom. Oh God. Oh no, it says that Pedro's burnt out. Pedro is burnt out. Burnt out negatively impacts work, promotions, energy, fun, and skill gain. Oh, wait a second. That's the keepsake box, you guys, from, from the pack. So I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I haven't played at all with this new pack, like barely at all, just because I want to experience this with you guys. So, so this has to be from an elder, and obviously it's going to be Gabby. So, okay, design the keepsake box. We'll do that next. So ponder the meaning of family. So family means unconditional support. Nobody knows what family means. Family isn't always about getting along. Family isn't everything. Family means being together. I'm going to say unconditional support because she supports her so much. Like, she supports her entire family so well. Oh, no. Val's like, what's going on, bro? Why are you feeling so bad? And he's like, ugh, I'm just so burned out. just miss being in Sulani sometimes. I really miss it a lot. It's just so fast paced here in San Sequoia. The islands were just so chill and relaxed, as you remember. I don't want to forget about our cute little Cam. Cam is just playing on the guitar. I feel like I always catch her playing. Probably do something with music one day. And checking on Kari. Let's see what she's doing. So she just became confident. She needs to achieve level three in the mental skill as well. So maybe she can play some chess with her sister. So these two sisters actually get along pretty well, which I love. Grandma Gabby is still resting over here. Oh, <laughs> so she's talking in her sleep. No, 
Why are these two getting burnt out? I don't understand. All right, well, looks like Mariana has taken herself to sleep a little bit early. She's tired from work. I'm feeling a little burnt out. And Pedro is still feeling burnt out. I need to figure out, if anyone knows in the comments down below, please let me know um, how to get this like creative burnout thing handled. I'm not sure what to do for him. So I would love to hear some ideas. Yeah, okay, so it says, that don't talk to Valentina right now. Also, everything better be exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay, well, clearly she is hormonal because now she's feeling flirty. So yeah, she is just <laughs> feeling some type of way. So Val is telling Gabby that, you know, I'd like to have a baby shower with the extended family and some of my friends. And Gabby's like, of course, I would love to go for you. And yeah, Val's so happy. Okay, well, she, I thought she was happy. <laughs> but yeah, she's like, oh yeah, maybe we can do it at the local community center. And yeah, or maybe we could do it at the house. Just let me know what you think. Val loves being an aunt so much and she's just so excited to share. Oh, I love this moment. This is so sweet. But yeah, she loves sharing this moment with her sweet niece. Look at her. She's so excited. Oh my god, so cute. I also love how you can see the bridge over here in the background. That's really pretty. Val is going to call up her friend Aaliyah. She hasn't seen her yet since she moved Evergreen Harbor. So she really wants her to come over and see her and i don't th i don't even think elia knows the news yet but she's actually her best friend she's her best friend from college and they're actually both teachers too but here is elia she's so cute and i'm really excited for her to see her so let's go ahead and just gossip really quick and be like hey girl will never believe what just happened to me and why i'm living in san sequoia hi i miss you so much okay so basically my ex-boyfriend ex-fiance decided to leave me and it was horrible you'll never believe it she's like what that's so crazy i can't believe he would do that to you what he is so crazy to leave you i knew he was bad i just knew it there's something about him Aliyah's like take the money and run girl <laughs> sue him <laughs> take all his child support i was like i'm so happy you're here i am so glad i've missed you so much so it looks like kari is bored she's had a lot of homework so i think what we're gonna do is go to the local park and i just need to find where that is just give me like a hot minute okay here it is here it is I'm so excited to finally experience this with you guys. I haven't been to the Splash Park yet. Like I said, I haven't really gotten the chance to explore San Sequoia because I want to do it with you guys on my channel together. So here they are, the big old Gonzalez family. Um, Val, you're supposed to be in your bathing suit, you silly girl. I love how he's still in his uniform and oh my god god are you kidding me and look at cam she's just on the ground high school is just really rough for her apparently you guys she needs to get some more sleep but anyways these two are playing over here and they look so cute oh my god they're so cute <laughs> they're so cute together but yeah val loves being an aunt so much look at them playing oh my gosh Kari is loving the water park so much. This is such a cute little splash play place. Look at her go. She's like, I don't care if I am pregnant. I don't care if it's almost it's almost the fall. I mean, technically, like it's only a few days into the fall, but they still have pretty warm weather here in San Sequoia. Like as you guys can see, like they're having really nice weather. So it's not super hot here or anything, but yeah, this is really cute. I like this. It'll be a nice like summer activity and I can't wait for her to bring her baby and everything. So yeah, um, I think what we're going to do too is we're going to have Pedro do a little bit of fishing. I'm pretty sure there is, yep, there's a fishing spot over here. And with him being burnt out and stuff, I think it would be a good idea for him just to do something fun. So maybe that will kind of like help his like creative juices or whatever, you know, get flowing and he's not so burnt out with everything i'm gonna have him also change out of his uniform because sir you don't need to be wearing that right now i think it's so nice for them just to get out here and to relax a little bit this is such a beautiful location let me know if you guys have tried out this location yet um this is so cute though i love it but yeah, anyways, I think this is probably a good stopping point for the episode. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know if you have any ideas for like some good drama. I love the drama. <laughs> um, or if there's anything that you guys want to see in particular with Val and her family. Um, 
I do want to do like obviously all of the fun things that you know go on with infants like their milestones and everything like that when she actually has her baby which will probably be in the next episode or two probably we'll do one more episode um where she's still pregnant and maybe she gives birth in that one and then the third episode will be um you know the actual baby will be there and then we'll start playing with infants so definitely let me know what you guys think i would love to hearing your feedback and i love knowing what you guys prefer to see just it keeps it fun so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the episode i had such a good time filming this. It was so much fun. I love being able to show Val's life a little bit and going through the Gonzalez's family with you. But yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in the next one and also stay tuned because I am giving away a one free expansion pack because we finally reached 1,000 subscribers. So I'm just going to get a few things together and figure out how to do the giveaway. Oh my god, did you guys see that? Homegirl cannot hang, you guys. She cannot hang. I'm just going to get together a few things to figure out how to get everyone's names and stuff and like a deadline and everything. So just make sure you're staying tuned in the next couple of episodes um, or just staying tuned to the channel in general. I'll make sure to make an announcement or maybe like make an actual announcement video so anyways i hope you guys have a wonderful day i hope you guys have an amazing weekend depending on when i actually put this video out again thank you all so much for being there for me and supporting and giving me so much love and support on my um on my videos in the comments below you guys are so awesome and we are building such a positive community here on my channel and i just can't thank you guys enough i love you all so much and have a wonderful evening